the science of today is the technology of tomorrow. The pursuit of peace through strength can lead to peace through demonstration of strength. The ability to destroy the world is the ultimate expression of power, but it's not something we should aspire to. Science means constantly walking a tightrope between blind faith and curiosity, between expertise and creativity, between bias and openness, between experience and epiphany, between ambition and passion, and between arrogance and conviction, in short, between an old today and a new tomorrow. The difference between science and the fuzzy subjects is that science requires reasoning while those other subjects merely require scholarship. The invention of the nuclear bomb led me to believe that we could find a way to control nuclear power so that it would never be a threat to humanity again. It is the scientists who have the obligation to be open-minded and unbiased. It is the public who have the obligation to be skeptical. Innovation doesn't happen by accident. It happens when people are given the freedom to innovate and are rewarded for it. The most important discoveries will provide answers to questions that we do not yet know how to ask and will concern objects we cannot yet imagine. To some, the missile shield is proof of our commitment to peace. To others, it is an invitation to war. I do not think that there is any other quality so essential to success of any kind as the quality of perseverance. It overcomes almost everything, even nature. It is the greatest of all mistakes to do nothing because you can only do little. Do what you can. The purpose of science is not to make us feel more comfortable about the world, but to help us understand it. Science is not perfect. It can be misused. It is only a tool. But it is by far the best tool we have. Self-correcting, ongoing, applicable to everything. It has two rules. First, there are no sacred truths. All assumptions must be critically examined. Arguments from authority are worthless. Second, whatever is inconsistent with the facts must be discarded or revised. We must understand the cosmos as it is and not confuse how it is with how we wish it to be. The science of today is technology of tomorrow. There are many who talk about a decline of violence in the world over time. I think that the development of the nuclear bomb and the potential of its use has actually contributed to a decline in violence because it has made people more cautious about going to war. The science of today is the technology of tomorrow. The most important thing that scientists can do is to be honest about what they know and what they don't know. The future is not something to be predicted, it's something to be achieved. Discovery consists of seeing what everybody has seen and thinking what nobody has thought.